Hello everyone, and welcome to our webinar, What's New in Apple OS Upgrades? Thanks for joining us. As everyone is still getting signed in, we'll go over just a few housekeeping items. Please think of questions throughout the webinar and direct them to the Q&A section. We'll be answering those throughout and at the end of today's session. And this webinar will be recorded, and we'll share the recording with you shortly after the webinar is finished. If we don't get to all of your questions, we'll follow up with you afterward. Reaching out to info at jamp.com will also get you in contact with someone at Jamp quickly. With that, let's hop into it. My name is Sean and I am on the Jamp team here to talk about what's new in Apple OS upgrades. We've got a lot of fun stuff to go over today. For those of you who are new to Jamp, I'll provide a brief overview of who we are. We will discuss same day support and what that means for you and your organization. Next, we will discuss the biggest enhancements Apple released in iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and tvOS. Then we'll talk about what this means for IT and InfoSec leaders. And to wrap up, we will provide best practices on how to upgrade your Apple fleet along with strategies for success for communicating to your teams about OS upgrades, and we will share some resources we have available to help make this OS upgrade season a successful one. So. Let's hop in and give a brief overview of who we are and what we do here at Jamp. Our purpose is to simplify work. We do this by creating enterprise secure solutions that are consumer simple and protect the privacy of your users. Over 72,000 organizations rely on Jamp to manage and secure over 30 million devices. Our recent stats show some of the industries we support in the enterprise space. But we also help many schools, universities, hospitals, and small to medium businesses across the globe succeed with Apple. And we are the only company in the world that provides complete management and security for an Apple first environment. Our ability to manage, secure, and extend the Apple experience with deep integrations with Microsoft, Google, Okta, AWS, as well as many more companies helps deliver a complete experience in the workplace, wherever that may be. Let's move on to OS upgrades. But before I begin, I do want to let you know of a fantastic webinar hosted by my colleague Rick Goody titled, How to Prepare for Upgrade Season. This webinar goes more in depth on the hows of preparing for upgrades. I highly recommend it for those wanting to learn more. With that, let's hop in. First. Let's take a look at why you want to upgrade as soon as you are ready. And the first reason is security. Out of date software is always less secure software. Regularly updating operating systems on all devices ensures that they have the latest security patches and bug fixes. MDM allows you to set automatic updates on Mac OS and mobile devices to make this process easier. The second and third reasons are about your end users. Keeping them happy with new features they can access and helping with productivity that new operating systems can enable. Finally, updating operating system provides access to new management features, which will help your organization configure the needs of your end users based on your environment. This brings me to my next point. What does same day support mean? Apple is well known for its success on the consumer side. But with each passing year, we are seeing Apple innovate with its products and services, providing businesses and schools the tools to be successful. At Jamf, our purpose is to simplify work by supporting, accelerating, and extending Apple's products and services. This has led to an evolution of how we approach same-day support. The base level is supporting new Apple operating systems the day they are released. This provides admins with the confidence that critical workflows will remain intact. Accelerate is about looking ahead and supporting Apple with features that are strategically important, making every possible effort to drive awareness and adoption. Finally, Extend is supporting key features from Apple by adding unique value to our products and solutions. For example, we took DEP and reimagined the enrollment experience to zero-touch deployment, which benefits both admins and end-users alike. So let's keep these categories of support, accelerate, and extend in mind as we walk through the rest of today's presentation. Before we get too deep into anything else, I want to share our history of same-day support. At Jamp, we made a decision back in 2002 when our company was founded, and before this graphic even begins, that we would be focused exclusively on Apple. 
Same-day support of Apple operating systems has long been a strength of Jamf. And since 2012, we have been same-day support ready, which means not a single delay in compatibility or supporting of new Apple operating systems when they become available. What does this mean for you? It means that you can make new versions available immediately to your end users if you so choose. But you can also take time to test and validate the operating systems in your own environment. But again, if you want to launch it immediately, you have the ability to do so. All right, let's get to it and provide some overviews of the biggest items Apple released this year within each operating system. First up is iOS. Apple, once again, provided a bevy of new enhancements to iOS. Managed software updates via declarative device management, which we will talk about more in depth later in this presentation, provides a better way to update devices with improved user transparency. Account-driven device enrollment lets users to enroll in an institu institutionally owned device into MDM via the settings app while separating personal work data. Returner service is a new MDM action that will send an erase device command along with the previously selected language, region, and a Wi-Fi pro wi profile. There are also enhancements to Apple Configurator. iOS now supports private cellular networks that can be preferred over Wi-Fi. And network relays provide more advanced networking functionality. For iPadOS, there are many of the same highlights as iOS, but I do want to shine a light on two additional ones. Easy student sign-in allows teachers to help get their students on the lesson plan in a better, more streamlined way. And the await user configuration key allows IT admins to fully configure a device after login. And Apple also sped up logging into shared iPad for their users. Mac OS Sonoma, released on September 26, continues to refine the look and feel of previous versions and also emphasizes better ways to do the activities you do most on Mac. Mac OS Sonoma also supports managed software updates. Admins can force end users to be prompted to enable file fault in the setup assistant when running Mac OS 14 or later, increasing the security posture of the device. New macOS restrictions help organizations get more options to restrict specific functionality within system settings, allowing for more granular controls and improved end user experience. Platform SSO extensions can now create and manage local accounts. With macOS Sonoma, organizations can deploy phishing resistant passkeys to users. And managed device attestation has also been added to macOS Sonoma. TVOS also had important updates. FaceTime is now part of Apple TV, bringing in a better way to connect with those closest to you on a wider, larger screen. The 802.1x authentication network for Ethernet networks, which is also available for iOS and iPadOS. And Apple also added VPN support on Apple TV. If you want to learn more on how Apple TVs can be used in your environment, check out our case study with Texas A&M. Now, let's switch gears a little and dig more into some of the big takeaways from the Apple announcement. First up, let's talk about managed Apple IDs, or MAIDs. MAIDs can now be used for more, like for passwords or Apple Wallet, and gives you more ability on how, or if, you want to allow that use. New features and enrollment options include support iCloud Keychain, letting you autofill and sync password across information, support for Wallet for MAIDs, using MAIDs to sign into managed iOS, iPadOS, and macOS apps that use sign-in for Apple. It also allows end users to enroll using account-driven workflows, providing a balance of productivity, privacy, and data security. And new access policies for all managed Apple IDs. Control made sign-in based on level of devices and determine which iCloud services are available. Next, we have managed software updates. This is a very exciting update and one which we will provide a demo in a few slides. Managed Software Updates, powered by declarative device management, adds more functionality to the existing DDM protocol. It empowers admins to sch better schedule and enforce the latest software updates to managed devices. In the past, MDMs, like Jam Pro, would need to consistently check devices for the latest data. Now, with Managed Software Updates, admins can specify the date and time of updates and devices inform the MDM when a change is made so admins know when updates are starting, installing, and when they are complete, and they will notify end users in a timely fashion. Software updates via DDM are much more reliable, 
reminding users more frequently as the deadline for the update approaches, continuing to provide a friendly user experience, particularly on macOS. And if a device can't update due to an issue such as power, battery life, or storage, the OS is resilient and continues to try again until the update is complete. Next up is account-driven device enrollment, which gives organizations its end, its end users a more user-friendly and secure experience. This enrollment flow for institutionally owned devices is nearly identical to the account-driven user enrollment workflow for the users on personally owned devices. End users simply enroll via the settings app that mitigates the risk of relying on a URL to enroll devices from bad actors using faulty websites that are meant to appear as an enrollment page. And just like account-driven user enrollment, account-driven device enrollment separates organizational and personal data upholding Apple's commitment to user privacy. For shared device use or shift workers, important workflow is resetting and re-enrolling devices for easy use. The return to service MDM erase command allows organizations and institutions to easily reset, re-enroll, and get their devices with iOS or iPadOS 17 or later ready to be used automatically with minimal manual effort. This is done by wiping the device with the MDM command and having it automatically re-enroll back into the MDM. Based on... Now, let's move on to how to actually upgrade your devices to the newest operating systems. Organi organizations can schedule enforcement deadline using managed software updates, powered by declarative device management, which I just mentioned a few slides ago, which allows you to use Jam Pro to easily target a specific update version and deadline to a group of computers in one action. Once the update plan is defined, macOS will handle user notifications reminders communicating the eventual enforcement deadline and update to the end user. Computers proactively and automatically give feedback to Jam Pro regarding the update's progress. Let's take a look at what this looks like in practice. This is a demo instance and there are no devices enrolled, but this is the workflow you would follow and this can be done for any number of devices, large or small. The actual workflow is pretty easy. From the Jam Pro console, I can either go to computers or devices. For this instance, I chose computers. From there, I go down to software updates under content management and choose which devices I want to update. I then have a few options on what action I want to take. For this, I chose download and schedule to install. I choose my date. I then choose what version of the OS I want to do. This one I will do the latest major version. And I click apply. And that's it. It's a super intuitive workflow that provides ease of use for this vital aspect to any Apple environment. There are some other ways to prepare for OS upgrades. You can use a mass action command to upgrade an individual computer or group of computers that are supervised or enrolled via free stage enrollment in Jam Pro. Jam Pro will send a schedule OS update command and then select the download and install update and restart computers after installation. Using smart groups will be your best bet. Scoping based on version is probably the easiest way to start as well. You can select less than and 17 to easily see every device in your ecosystem and what operating system version each device is running on. Since iOS 17 is out and available, it might be easiest to start there, but also adding something like iPhone to your search to get a list of every iPhone device that will need to be updated if you so choose. And again, if you need extra time and want to test and validate across your ecosystem, you can do that. You can delay OS upgrades for 90 days to take the time you need to ensure your environment is ready for the new operating systems. Let's chat briefly about some options to update iOS and iPadOS devices. If you're ready to upgrade with your corporately owned phones, you need to choose your deployment path either by using managed software updates, which again, we covered in previous slides, or by an MDM command, or you can let your user do the updating on their own. If you want the user to do it, it's pretty easy to see that red badge for software updates. And most users have been through this on their personal devices, so it should be a pretty easy process for them. If you want to leverage MDM to upgrade to iOS 17, you can hop into Jam Pro where you can use the Manner Software Updates workflow or by utilizing smart groups as I mentioned in a previous slide. If you decide that you aren't ready to upgrade quite yet, again, you have those 90, to 90 days to decide to defer the update. 
Now, let's go through some best practices for communicating on those upgrades. Whether you're communicating to them about when your users can upgrade, what the process will be, or why they won't be able to upgrade for a set period of time, including users in opening a two-way communication line will lead to a smoother process. One of the major aspects that communication may help control is the number of help desk ticket calls you receive on this topic. So, we always encourage admins to plan and communicate across your organization. Your users might be Apple savvy users, so they may be ready to get the new OS, new OS right away, or you might have users that don't even realize that there is a new operating system available. Whatever mix of users you have, it's important to communicate with your teams before you either delay or make these upgrades available. If you have any questions on this, feel free to hop into Jamf Nation, and we are more than happy to give you some pro tips there. So, whether you're ready to enforce that update today or want to delay that upgrade for up to 90 days, Jamf is on your side for either option. We can't wait to get your for you to get your hands on all the new operating systems and rest assured. When Apple makes them available, Jamf will always be ready with same-day support to ensure you succeed with Apple in your organization. And we have a bunch of resources available to help you with OS upgrade season, including our iOS and iPadOS upgrade guide for beginners ebook and our macOS upgrades guide for beginners ebook. These assets are easy to read and digest and have loads of great information on how to best prepare your environment. One other thing I want to mention is that Jamf also has beta programs, and not just for testing new features after WWDC, but to stay on top of our year-long program of improvements and feature releases. As a beta user, you get a Jamf Cloud Host and Beta instance that you can set up with your specific workflows. It's updated each time we release a new beta, so you don't need to set up again each time. Now, let's recap what we walked through today. First, you can enjoy all of your new Apple operating systems. Second, we talked about some key features showcased at WWDC 2023 that will continue to make Apple the best it can be within your organization. Jamf will continue to explore how we can best support these features for you and your users, so stay tuned on more for what's next from Jamf. We talked about some of the key takeaways. You heard about the key features and workflows that you can expect within each operating system and why they will matter to you and your end users. And finally, during OS upgrade season, we talked about why it's important to make the right choice for your environment and when it comes to rolling out new operating systems and deciding when to do so. And that's it for this session. I hope you have found this insightful and learned some useful information that can help you with navigating this year's Apple upgrades. As a reminder, this recording will be emailed to you shortly, but if you still have any questions after it has ended, then please reach out to us at info at champ.com.